Oh, oh my god! Oh, yes! Yes! Shiny Kabuto! Yes! <laughs> Let me save. Let me save. I was hoping I would get it on my game. Because, uh... Oh my god, my heart is pounding. I'm watching Absol Blog's Pokemon. <laughs> oh, yes! Oh. Wow, yeah, I was hoping I would get it on this right game. Because obviously this is my game. As you can see, Zeeb's PT. And my name is not Dom, so uh, this is a other file that I bought last well it's another platinum I bought last summer off someone and I hadn't wiped the file yet because I was like ah oh, you know June 12th 2010 this is kind of like an OG file it looks like you know he's put a lot of work in I tried to do the DNS exploit on this game but he already had a lot of the events already on it so yeah <laughs> wow 9430 30. Uh, I've been counting this um, like 10 each reset uh, because let me just go look at him again. Oh my goodness. Ah, uh, yes! 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 <laughs> oh man. Oh yes! There he is. Let me look at him. Let me see what he's got. He's serious. Oh, he is so serious. Look at him. He's so serious. He's got... Uh, I don't know what serious is. I'm going to go off and say... Uh, he looks like a physical boy. Uh, he's got Swift Swim. Some pretty <laughs> interesting attacks there. I don't know if they... Okay, yeah, they all come with the same... Wow, yes! Kabuto is like my... F Kabutops is my favorite Pokemon, so... I knew that this was the first Pokemon I had to go for in the Fossil Quest. Um, I really love Fossil Pokemon, so I'm certainly going to be collecting all of them shiny throughout Platinum. And I'll probably grab the other ones, to be honest. After I'm done with Platinum, this will probably turn into a Fossil Quest, like, overall. Just across all the games. Uh, but I did want to start with Platinum, because I've been... Oh, ooh. Let me take the elastic bands off. Um, I did want to... I've been having a lot of fun with Platinum overall. And, uh... Wow, what is going on? Here's some of the event Pokemon I tried to uh, get in here. Um, but yeah, I've been having a lot of fun with it, so um, I guess I'll just stick the Kabuto in here. Oh, yes! I've been having a lot of fun with it. Sorry, I've been like, so much I wanted to say, but I just like. Oh, I wanted this so bad! <laughs> oh my god! I thought this was going to go to 15k. Oh my god, I've been putting so much time into this hunt. You guys have no idea, man. I've been doing, like, actually, let me get a Pokemon that's, like, not level 20 so I don't wipe out when I go try to show it in an encounter. Um, I guess I'll take Banner. Um, but yeah, I've been, I don't even remember what I was saying. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, yes! Here, let me close this DS and I'll go to the single screen. Cool. Alright. Yeah, I've been going real hard on this hunt. Oh my god, yes! Let me look at him one more time. Ah, uh, yes! Yeah, I love the fossil Pokemon a lot. And I found that there wasn't really a lot of them in platinum like on youtube like i didn't really see a lot of capture card like high quality uh videos of people getting them in platinum and i was like well what the fuck like i love platinum i love fossil pokemon so let me just collect all of them and uh that's what i plan on doing i i made an intro sequence for this video and uh i was originally gonna put it at the front of the video but it's like 10 minutes long <laughs> 
I, I just talk a lot, but uh, yeah, I decided that it might be better off if I was to just um, put it at the end. So I'll put it at the end after all of this. I have a lot of, um, wow, that was quick. I have some details if you're interested on this hunt and what I've been doing for it, etc., etc. Wow, yes! I will be using this in Heart Gold and Soul Silver in my playthrough. But yeah, uh, so yeah, there's a lot of details about this hunt uh, in that video, or in that sequence. So I guess, um, yeah, I'll, I'll put that onto the end. I don't know what to do, I just want to look at it. I want to show you guys the uh, Heart Gold and Soul Silver sprite, because I think it's fucking really jokes. But um, they're all still set up to do Mareeve, so I don't really want to do that yet. <laughs> But yeah, I was getting really panicked because I was like, oh my god, this hunt's gonna last forever if I don't finish it by the end of April. Like, uh, I'm gonna have to go because I, I have a bunch of hunts I want to do before I, Safari Week. And I know it might sound like it's kind of far away to be thinking about that. But like, as you can see, like these hunts take, they can take like up to a month and at most times several months for a single hunt. So I have like, some fire red hunt i have like a pattern bush hunt i want to do a phase four and then another platinum hunt that i'd like to do i actually had a couple platinum hunts i won't be able to get to all of them it, it, like it's unlikely but yeah i guess that's it i mean shit there's nothing else really to say uh, i'm gonna be populating the fossil pokemon live shiny category on youtube that's like my my quest yeah it's crazy this, this was pretty interesting. Uh, by the end of this hunt, like, over the past few days, um, I've been doing, like, a thousand a day. Because I was like, I'm gonna fucking hammer this hunt out. So I've been doing, like, a thousand a day, which is, like, five hours of hunting, roughly, a day, which doesn't really sound like a lot, but, like, it's been kind of melting my brain a little bit. So I'm really, really happy that this hunt is over with, because Kabuto is such a nice, shiny Oh my god, look at him go. Uh, Alright, anyway, I'll, I'll conclude that now. If I forgot to say anything specific, I'll make sure to link it. or I'll slap it on the uh, screen right now through video editing. And yeah, I'll stop jimmer jabbering. If you want any information about doing a fossil hunt in Platinum, I've got a ton of it after this portion of the video, as I said previously. And so... Yeah, just make sure you go back there. If you have any questions about it, I'll do my best to answer you in the uh, in the comments. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Like, and not to mention, like, if you have any questions, like, a lot of this information is already out there. So, like, you can just Google it, and there's probably a plethora of sources that can give you that information. So, there's don't feel like obviously if you want to ask me, I'll help you. But I'm not trying to like. You know, I'm not the, like, all-knowing source on this or anything. Like, I get most of my information from Google myself. I didn't figure any of this out. So, yeah, it was really, really sweet. I'm glad that I did that. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next hunt. His back looks like an old man, though. Oh, man. <laughs> Imagine that was shiny. Oh, he has like the same back sprite. I think his front sprite is a lot nicer in Platinum, personally. Got a nice little cute animation there, but I think his front sprite is way nicer and plat. But that's just me. Hey guys, welcome back to another shiny hunting video. Today we are here in my platinum versions. 
and um, I want to talk to you guys about the newest hunt that I'm going to be doing. Um, this introductory sequence is going to take a little bit of time, so I'm going to put like a little timestamp down in like the comments or whatever if you want to just skip past it, just while I take some time to explain it. Um, so anyway, as you can see, we're in the Orberg Mining, I don't know, museum. And uh, I'll open up my bag here. And it is on the right game, but it's, I don't want to scroll through. So you can see I've uh, done a lot of collecting for fossils. Um, I guess I will uh, scroll down. So here we go. This, the fossils that I have here took me about 20 hours of mining in the underground uh, to get and um, there is a little bit of like information on what fossils are available um, in which game because uh, as you may know uh, the armor fossil I believe it's the armor fossil is available for shield on I believe it's the Pokemon's name I can't even believe I don't know um, it's available in pearl version and the uh, claw is anorith the Skull Fossil for Cranidos is available in Diamond. In Pokemon Platinum, both of these fossils can be available. It is dependent on whether you have an even or odd trainer ID. They're very rare. Uh, <laughs> uh, I often, you might find like a handful of these a day because there's usually like kind of a limit on how much you can mine out in a day. Like they'll shiny spots will kind of stop appearing. Yeah, I literally mined till shiny spots stopped appearing in the underground. But, um, so all the other fossils you can get in this version are pretty well correlated to which of the Sinnoh fossils you have access to. So it just so happens that this second copy of Platinum I picked up last summer, the file that's already on it, I hadn't wiped the save file yet, it actually already has uh, the Skull Fossil ID, and then my current Platinum has the Armor Fossil ID. So because of this, um, the Kanto Fossils, um, so the Dome Fossil for Kabuto, is less likely to appear on this game, whereas the Helix Fossil is more likely. And you can kind of see which ones are more likely and which ones aren't based on just like the quantities I have in each game. And, you know, you can go through and find out which ones which are available uh, for each game. It's, like, pretty straightforward. The only one that doesn't have any availability dependent on the trainer ID is the Old Amber. It is available in all variants of the trainer IDs. It is very, very rare, though. As you can see by how many I have, it's a very small amount. So, um, they are very difficult to come by. Um, so, I think that's it. You can get, um, as you can see, you can get the other fossils. I have traded some over because you can give them to Pokemon, so it's an important point for double hunting or multiple hunting. Um, you can get the other fossil, like you can get the Dome fossil and the Helix fossil in the same game. Just whichever of the Sinnoh fossils you have access to decides which fossil is... Uh, more likely to appear and the other one is just much rarer so this is the same for the Hoenn fossils as well there's a total of seven fossils available across the gen 4 games and I will be hunting for all of them in Pokemon Platinum you cannot access them unless you have the national decks and you've like you know cleared through the main game and stuff it's one of those things that opens up you can start finding them in the underground they are rare but um, yeah, so that's that. Um, I think I will get into the resets. So what we're going to do is a lot of the time people might consider just giving him a fossil, saving right here where I've saved, uh, turning on your game, going in, talking to him, picking up the fossil, you know, you open up, you summarize the fossil. If it's not shiny, you just soft reset and that's it. And you just do that. It's a regular soft reset hunt. So it actually turns out, um, I saw a video, you know, comparing the speeds of different methods to do these kinds of hunts, and it turns out it's actually a bit faster to, um, to go and revive five fossils, like as many as you can fit into a single party, on one game, or like on each game, and then reset after you check all the fossils. 
rather than just, uh, so let me rephrase that in a way that might make more sense. It is quicker to restore five fossils per reset than it is to reset five times on one fossil. So yeah, let me get into the reset. So we can start off by actually giving him a fossil. He has a fossil right now, so I won't talk to him yet. But if you give him a fossil, he'll tell you to get out of the building. And then basically you just walk down, leave the building, come back in, save right here. And then you can kind of get a freebie here where as soon as you turn on your game, you can talk to him and he will give you a fossil. In this case, obviously, as you can tell, I'm hunting Kabuto. So he's going to give you a fossil and then you're going to want to talk to him again and give him another fossil. Now I'm already at about 3,000 for this hunt. I already filmed an intro, but I rewatched it and I was just like, wow, this intro is garbage. Like I was just talking and I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. So I figured I would just refilm it. Um, anyway, so I'm just demonstrating to you the process for each reset. Um, I am double hunting it as you can see. Um, I am using my hands. I don't have some like, controller hooked up to control both of them at the same time. I'm simply doing this just with my two hands. So if you want to just walk, just like this, walking is still faster, walking in and out, um, than just soft resetting one fossil. So I prefer to run just because it speeds it up a little bit and I can, I just like stretch my pinky and index finger across both games. Um, but yeah, so you can do this. Uh, also, as you can see, it's a little bit difficult when you have all the fossils in your game. So something that I may have considered doing, um, maybe you just hunt them in order if you want to collect all of them. That makes uh, sense, I guess. It would just be easier to do it that way. Otherwise, what I will probably end up doing is I will probably just end up giving Kabuto, or not even Kabuto, I don't know why I said that end up giving the fossils because they're regular items in this game they're not key items so like we mentioned before you can give them to pokemon so i would just what i'm probably going to end up doing for the other hunts in the future is i'll just give all the fossils that i'm not hunting to pokemon and just throw them in the box and so that way when i open up that menu it'll just be button mashing a it'll speed it up just a little bit so uh you know you pay less attention so here we go we got five Kabutos. We also got our Poketch app opened up to show what's on, what's in our team, so we don't have to like check or keep count. And then you just go through, check them all, that's it. And then we reset. And that is going to be the process that this entire hunt goes through. That's what I've been doing up to this point, And that's what I'm gonna continue to do. So this way you're getting 10 fossils a reset so we're going 10 at a time here and uh that's that's the process so uh yeah hopefully i get it soon as i said we're at almost 3,000 right now we're at 2900 and so i hope i can get it soon and uh you know we can get this quest going and i'm not gonna hunt them all consecutively it'll probably break it up and stuff but i do want to collect all of them so i will see you guys then